hey, it's Jackie and Susan here, and we're going to show you how you're going to do your standards-based report card in PowerSchool. First of all, when you log into PowerSchool, you're going to need to open your PowerTeacher Pro gradebook. Um, you can click on the blue PowerTeacher Pro link either on the side over here or under any of your classes. If you click on the one under the the subject, it's going to take you to straight to that subject. Um, once you're in your Power Teacher Pro gradebook, make sure you're working in the course that you want to enter your scores. Um, right here you'll see it defaulted to homeroom and I don't want to give scores in homeroom so I would need to come down here and choose math. Um, you also want to make sure you're working in the correct nine weeks and you can see that over here on the right. Um, N1 is for first nine weeks, N2, N3, N4, etc. F1 is the entire school year. So for this first time, you'll want to make sure you're working in N1. Now this is how you're going to view the standards. So on the left-hand side menu, you're going to click on Students. You're going to choose Standards Progress. And then you'll see all your kids listed here. We have their names blurred out. So you're just going to choose one of your students. This will open a new screen so that you'll see all standards for the subject for just that one student. You can see the full standard written out across the top just above that blue bar. You have to keep scrolling down the page to see more standards. You will only need to put a score next to the standards that you have taught during that current nine weeks. Make sure you're marking scores in that current nine weeks. You can see that up in the upper right corner there or at the top of the column. Select a cell beside the standard that you want to enter a score for. Once that cell is selected, the score inspector panel will open to the right. You can type three, two, or one on the keyboard or just type the number in the white score box. The three is for meet standards, the two is for progressing, and the one is for not yet. Comments can be typed in the bottom portion of the score inspector. You can type your own comments here. You'll have a limit of 4,000 characters, or you can click on the it looks like a speech bubble tab up in the top right hand corner and that opens the comments, a bigger comments panel. You can see your comments here and type them here or you can choose to see the comment bank right here. Comment bank, once it's open, you can filter right here. You can filter by subject. So you could type in math and it would and click apply and it would just pull up the math comments. You can also add a star to a comment that you like and you think you'll use more often so it'll be easily found again and then when you decide on a comment you want to choose for this student for this standard you just click on the plus over on the right. Favorite comments will appear at the beginning of the comments bank. A tiny blue comment bubble will show beside the score to let you know there is a comment for that score and standard. Don't forget to click save before you leave this screen so you won't lose your work. Now you have marked the standards for the nine weeks for one student. You can continue marking scores for viewing one student at a time, or you can go to the standard score sheet and see all students in standards. To do this, you're going to go back to the menu on the left and click the A plus grading, choose standards. Now this screen will show you all the students in the class over on the left. Each student will have a row. Again, we've blurred them out. Um, we just had you go the other way first because we think it makes it a little easier. So your students are on the left, your standards are across the top, and as you can see, I can only see about seven right here. You're going to need to choose this arrow to see additional standards. If you notice at the bottom, I'm on page one of 10, um, so there's several pages of standards here. I'm gonna scroll over by using that little arrow bar, and here I'll see some scores appear. The, this is the student 
that I put scores in for for these particular standards. Um, now I can see which standards I want to add for the other kids. So um, I can see a score of three here, so I know that this standard is tiny, I can't read it, but it'll that's the standard that I want to mark for the rest of my students. To make it a little easier, if you click when you click in a cell beside a student and below a standard, you can see the entire standard written out right here. Um, but you'll also notice that the score inspector shows up over on the right. Um, here's a little tip that we just love. Um, once you've given one student a score, you can choose this fill button right here, the up and down fill, and it will give all your students the same score for this standard. But just note, it'll also copy the comments to all of those students as well, so you may have to go in and edit the comments. But once you do the fill, you can go in and change any individual student's grades. Remember to double check the comment when the score inspector opens beside of the student. And don't forget to click save. Then you just have one more step and you'll be finished with that course. When you have finished all the scores, you'll notice that and you have saved. You'll notice at the bottom beside of save, there's a final grade status. If you'll click on that final grade status, then you'll see a box at the top that says N1 final grades are complete and you need to make sure that there is a check in that box. This lets your data manager know that you're finished with the grades for that course. Don't forget, do it for every course, not just one time. A few reminders for you. The district has decided that you are only required to add standard scores in PowerSchool for math and ELA. Science and social studies, that's going to be optional, but it needs to be determined by your school and your grade level, and it also needs to be consistent in your grade level. So if one of you decides to give science and social studies standard scores, um, all of you in your grade level need to do that. But the standards are already there for you to choose, just like they were for math. You don't have to type them in. You just, your grade level in school needs to decide that. Um, for conduct, we think it's best if you just handwrite comments on the printed report card. Um, there is a conduct course in PowerSchool, but it uses a S for satisfactory, an N for needs improvement, and a U for unsatisfactory scale um, instead of the standards and the M P and N, and we don't want to confuse you by having a different scale, so you do not have to add conduct scores into PowerSchool. You will also need to keep in mind that you need to adhere to the data manager's deadlines for completing grades. The data manager has to store grades, so when she does that, <clears throat> she has to do that, sorry, before she can actually print the report cards for you. At this point in time, you do not have a way to print those report cards like you do with progress reports. If we can get that feature working, we'll put out an additional video for that. Um, but that's all for now. Um, it's not as intimidating as it seems. Um, we will have a written handout for you to use. We'll have the PowerPoint that we used for this video and the video all posted on the webpage in several places. Um, I believe we're also going to send it out to you in email. If these resources are not enough support for you and you and your team needs us face-to-face, -face, just get in touch with Susan um, or myself.